Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. For those who are new, I am a researcher. I work on theoretical physics, basically on string theory and black hole thermodynamics. And for people who haven't seen my recent video yet, I recently finished my PhD work. I submitted my thesis. I did my PhD from Isaac Trivendram and I have moved for my postdoctoral position in Chennai Mathematical Institute. So I still haven't defended my thesis. So last part of the thesis or PhD is still pending, but I have done, I have submitted my work and that will be reviewed in few months and then I will go and defend my thesis. So today's video is about my integrated PhD interview experience. So for people, again, for new people, I was an integrated PhD student in ISA Trivendrum, which is a seven year course, uh, two years of MSc and five years of PhD. Lot has changed since I joined the integrated PhD course. So we will talk about everything else, but first we will focus on interview because the reason I have delayed this, this experience or uh, explaining the interview experience is because I thought I gave my interview in 2015 and since 2015 the format must have changed. So there is no point of me telling my experience because it might confuse some of the people who are going to who might be appearing in the upcoming interviews but with my uh, in my recent discussion with my supervisor he told me the interview procedure is still the same and i should actually sit down and talk about it in youtube and that is why i'm here telling you about the same and i also discussed this the same thing with my junior indicative phd student and he also told me that the procedure is still the same. So I thought it's a nice, nice topic that I should cover in my uh, channel. So if you haven't seen my previous video, the series is called All About, where I talk about my journey from a small town of Madhya Pradesh, CD, to Isa Trivendram, and now it will continue to my postdoc position and everything else. So in that series, I have uploaded four episodes or three episodes. This is going to be my fourth episode and I have talked till my just uh, exam and my just course. And after that, I applied for different institute which were allowed, uh, which were allowed depend, uh, based on the ranking. So if you have particular rank, you are only eligible to apply for particular universities since I had 200 plus rank, I wasn't allowed to apply for HRI and ISO Pune and other uh, ISC for example because they only take students with, within the rank 50 so I wasn't uh, uh, eligible for those institute. I was eligible for ISO Bhopal and ISO Trivendram and I think ISO Mohali also at that time and so I applied for ISO Trivendram and ISO Bhopal as well but ISA Trivendram was my first interview. So when I was called for ISA Trivendram interview, basically I had no idea that after just I have to give interview also to get enrolled in an institute. When I was told that I have to give interview, I the only idea about interview I had was through television or uh, people, for example, MBA people or engineering people. So I had those uh, a uh, concept of interview in my head that I will go with my file and everything. I will sit down and they will ask me some questions about my aspiration and what I love, like about the institute, what I want to pursue, with whom I want to work and all those sort of questions I had in my mind. But <laughs> it was completely different. There was no such interaction about asking name or which institute you come from, nothing like that. So. There were some 100 students for the interview, first round of interview, there were two rounds of interview. So for first round there were around 100 students with rank 50 and less than 50 also there were, there were people with rank 9 also in jest and there were people with 250 rank also. So I was in with, uh, within that rank uh, and uh, for the first round they divided students according to their registration number. They had divided students into multiple groups. Basically, you'll go and sit in front of a room, and inside the room there were three faculties. And when you go, when they call your name, you go. And basically, they just uh, they didn't ask anything. They just asked me to get the chalk or the pen and go to the whiteboard, and they started asking questions. So basically, 
uh, questions like uh, question, uh, for first round they were asking questions from electromagnetism mechanics uh, classical mechanics and uh, all uh, electro uh, electrostatic electromagnetic fields uh, classical mechanics and uh, simple harmonic motion for example and a uh, little bit of optics also sometimes they asked so these are the things that they uh, covered so so just to recap in the first round they were covering classical mechanics simple harmonic motion uh, oscillations and uh, those kind of things and a uh, little bit of optics and uh, electrostatic magnetic static and time varying fields basically emt where they will ask you about um maxwell equations and those sort of questions so they will they were asking basically numerical questions so if you have a pendulum which is uh, hanging and there is a charge downstairs uh, there is a charge in the plate and if you oscillate it right down there time period length of oscillation and stuff like that so those are the types of question they were asking then the classical mechanics also they were asking some questions of normal classical mechanics not lagrangian and hamiltonian nothing like that things that are in the syllabus of jest those stuff only they were asking so go through the just go through your syllabus uh, for people who are just new to this uh, uh, jest uh, this thing uh, i will come with a uh, next video is going to be next video very soon i will come with a video where i am going to mention all the books that i uh, that i uh, consulted during my jest preparation or before the interview and yeah that's that's about it in the first interview so you have to go and solve the questions in the board and then you wait for it and i think in the evening only they gave 15 names and for all the 50 people who were selected for second round of interview so in the second round of interview they were covering thermodynamics any experiments that you have done during your bsc um uh, quantum mechanics statistical physics everything uh, which is basically maybe a, a one level high mathematical physics also <coughs> they were asking in the second interview so in the second interview was like there were 15 people sitting outside and based on your registration number you have given slot time slot and all the people all the faculty of physics department were sitting in a single room it was a seminar room so they were sitting all across the room with their macbook and everything and same thing happened this time i was in surprise <laughs> i went with my file i kept my file there they asked me to pick the board and go to uh, pick the chalk and go to the board i went there and this time they asked me which is the uh, subject or which is the topic that you are most comfortable with and i told them this one and then they asked started asking questions from that topic they anyway they uh, covered everything but just to make me feel at ease they started question they started asking questions from the topic i was comfortable with and also since i was the first student uh, because of this registration number i was the first student to enter for the interview so during even when they ask for experiment they ask me which experiment have you done in your uh, bsc and can you explain one of the experiment so basically when you are explaining your experiment you have to explain the setup and also the conclusion and the derivation basically so i i only remembered at that uh, moment i only remembered lcr experiment so i wrote everything i remembered about lcr experiment so i basically told them this is the resistance uh, this is induction and blah 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 this is how you calculate uh, emf this is how you calculate this and everything i said i told them the setup also the lcr circuit that you make this capacitance induction and this resistance and the thing i made and i told them and when i came out of interview i everyone was sitting and they were they were asking what they asked and so i told everyone that they are asking for experiment this time and uh, so all the students they was they, they started memorizing the experiment they could but people who went later on the uh, later on in this process they were not allowed to choose the experiment according to themselves so they were they were asked a particular experiment or not particular experiment but experiment from a particular genre of physics basically either they were 
lot of people were uh, talking about a particular easy experiment so at one point this like no no not this experiment anything from optics anything from electrostatic anything from this part anything from that part so basically things like that and yeah so this day happened and so they we were asked that uh, the result will be announced next day in the website so you are free to leave so next day when we uh, we i was waiting for my train to come back then i saw in the website that i was selected we were eight people were shortlisted uh, after second round and out of those eight people six people joined in my batch 2015 iphd batch and that's the story now there are many many more seats for iphd and uh, i guess <coughs> <coughs> that's about it and uh, so tips is to prepare just prepare about so basically the questions will be of just level so do not expect anything less or anything more it won't be very difficult because you will have some 15 to 20 basically 20 minutes uh, for your first round and similarly 15 to 20 minutes for your second round and you will be asked to maybe you'll be asked to draw plot some graph uh, for example one of my friend was asked to plot sin x by x graph and limit extent to zero of sin x by x those kind of questions is what i remember now and uh, soon as i said soon i will come with the set of books that you can consult for your gs exam and this uh, iphd interview as well so all the best for people who are preparing for gs exam you can uh, comment all the questions you have regarding chest or uh, interview in nicer or anything else i will and this specifically uh, specifically is from icer trivendra different icer has different set of questions i have just given icer trivendra i did not go to any other icer so this was my first interview i was selected uh, after second round so i did not go for any other uh, icer i was like I liked Isa Trivedram and I was, I always wanted to study in South so I was like this is what I want to do and so I just, I just chose Isa Trivedram, I did not go for any other ISA interview so this is my experience but if you have any query please feel free to send it in the comment, uh, write it in the comment section or send it to in my instagram my instagram pm id uh, my instagram id is this and yeah see you in my next video please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and if you have thank you so much for all the love and uh, encouragement that you people have given me through your subscription and all your lovely comments so thank you so much see you in my next video till then bye bye